<sighs> what a nice beach, isn't it? But, but wait, the whole island is infested by zombies? What? How could that be? And what? You don't know how to survive? Or how to do anything? Well, luckily, Turk here will show you how to get started. <sighs> what a cheesy intro. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, anyway, guys, um, welcome to my beginner's guide slash tips um i got requested by aj a63 or a163 whatever um to do a beginner's guide and some tips so um here i am and i will show you guys you know the best beginner's guides i could do and hopefully you guys like it uh first thing First is the controllers. Um, right when you spawn next to a beach, because that's where you're mostly going to be spawning at is next to the beach. The first thing is you you want to know you're going to want to know is how do you go from first person to third person? Well, the simple thing is all you have to do is press enter on the keypad. Once from there, you will go to third person, and you can also go back to first person if you wish. Now another thing, one of the most important things in this game you want to know is how to lay down, crouch, stand, and go over things. This is achieved by pressing Z to lay down. Well I'm laying down right now so let me show you. <laughs> okay so yeah, you're gonna press Z to lay down, X to crouch, C to stand up and lastly you're gonna use V as in violin to go over things. It's just a small little I, I don't know if I should call it a jump but this will help you go over like you know fences or some ledges that you can just run up to. You can just press V and just go over them. Um one thing I want to make sure I'm in a server where there's not a lot of people because I don't want to get killed by while I do the tutorial. <laughs> okay, next thing, W, A, S, D is gonna move you around. The mouse, of course, is gonna make you look around. <laughs> Q and E. This is this is to lean. So Q is to lean left. E is to right. Now let's say you want to, you know, look around without, you know, moving your body. Let's say you're laying down and you want to move your camera, but you know, you don't want to move your body cuz maybe you don't want to be seen. All you have to do is press the alt ALT, just hold it down and you can look around. Look left or right and this won't move your body. Um this is good for like if you want to look around and move your body let's say there's someone in front of you and you want to stay very still you know stealthy you can also double tap it and this will lock in the option so you just look around but just make sure you tap it again so you can go back into your regular camera view you don't want to be running and not be able to move <laughs> Now let's say you meet someone and you want to talk to them, either a friendly person or a bandit, uh, you want to try and communicate with them, you're going to press the comma and the period to change the channel as you can see on the bottom left corner, there's direct communication, group channel, vehicle channel. Just forget about all the channels except the direct communication. This is what's going to be used to talk to people. Uh, one way you could chat, you could chat with people, is by pressing the forward slash. This will bring bring up the the text chat. This is where you can talk to people. You know, if they're close to you, they'll be able to read it. I believe it goes up to 40 meters. 
correct me if I'm wrong. Um, they say you have a mic and you want to talk to them. Okay. Well, that's simple. All you have to do is just press the cap locks. This will bring up the little mic, as you see right there. Once the little mic pops up, all you gotta do is talk through your mic, and if people are nearby, they'll be able to hear you. Let's say you just don't want to hold it, you can just double tap it, and it'll lock on. And as long as you don't press it twice, it's not gonna go away, and you can just talk to people. Double tap it again to just make it go away. Okay, so now that you know what some of the keys do, um, let's move on to the mouse. And this is where you're gonna do a lot of stuff with. First thing is um, if you just right click it once, it will put you into first person. This is good for aiming. But if you're playing in third person, I believe it's just better to just shoot or attack in first uh, in third person. Sorry. If you left click, that's obviously going to be to attack. I'm not going to shoot my gun because I don't want any zombies to come. Okay, so one of the most important things in the mouse is going to be the wheel. This is used for a lot of things. One you could switch your weapon let's say you have a handgun and a primary you could switch from your weapon from your first to your second easily you can also do this by pressing the semicolon this also works if you have let's say an axe and you have a pistol you could switch from both the same way it will also work and luckily there's a body here for me to show you um, this will work to pick up things too so what you're gonna do is go next to the body and just rotate the wheel and it will come up with the options of what you could do so as you scroll the wheel it will show you some options you know it'll tell you open the, the patrol pack or whatever backpack is there that's to open whatever person's dead backpack or it also works if they're alive um, this is you know you can just open their backpack and you can see what they have on their backpack what you are gonna wanna do most of the times is just go to gear and this will bring up your backpack and their inventory I will show you I'll give you a little tutorial about the backpack in a little bit but okay let's just go on you can also hide the body if you don't want no one to see it let's say you killed them and you don't want them to come back and you just want to be fucked up and you know hide the body you will hide the body and everything in their inventory you can also just you know study their body another thing you could do with the right click you could hold the right click and it will zoom in this is helpful if you want to scout ahead a little bit make sure there's no one you know ahead but just remember that if you click it it's gonna go to first person click it again to go third person okay so now let's move on to how to open some of your inventories binoculars, watches, compass, maps, that sort of things. The only way you could do this is by pressing a key in your keyboard. Going into your backpack does not do anything. So first thing, let's say you have a watch, you're gonna press O or hold O. You could also just double click it. I'm pretty sure it works with everything. You can just double click it and it'll just stay there. Double click it again to go away. So O is for the watch. You can see the time in the server. I guess right now is 4.46. Okay. Let's say you have a map. Unfortunately, I do not have a map to show you. But if you do have a map, all you gotta do is press M. M for map. 
who knew? For binoculars, you're gonna press B. B for boy. This will bring up the binoculars from your inventory, and you could see really, really far away. If you see a player, you can just zoom into them, and it will show you their name. G is for backpack. This is how you're gonna open your backpack by pressing G. A compass, you're gonna press K for the compass, and it will show you the direction you're going at. Another good key is the eye. This will show you the name of the server you are on. Right now, as you can see, I'm in DE80, 880, GMT minus six, you know, all that good stuff. This is helpful if you want to tell your friends what server you're on so they can find you. And then R is going to be to reload. This will reload all your guns and it will also reload your axes and crowbars <laughs> yeah I know okay let's say you want your camera to be zoomed in all the time you could achieve this by pressing the minus and the plus key on the number keypad you can also just double tap it if you want to be zoomed in all the time you could double tap the minus to be zoomed out all the time Oh shit, zombie. Zombie. No, bad food tutorial. Stop it, zombie. Stop it. Whoa there. I don't know what the hell happened there. That zombie zombie from really far away. <laughs> but yeah, plus sign to zoom in, minus sign to zoom out. You can also do it in first person. No, zoom in. And you can also zoom out, which is kind of weird. Another key you want to learn is the F. The F is what's going to let you throw stuff. So if you have um, some chem lights, road flares, tin cans, empty bottles, you could just press F as long as it's in your inventory. What you gotta do is press F and it will show up on the top right corner, the thing you're holding, and you'll be able to throw it. I will show you later on the tutorial uh, an example of how to draw stuff you know, just for laughs and giggles I guess <laughs>